Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 7. Beyond Genesis Kaisen. <laughs> That's a dam. Dam will probably burst, signifying <laughs> Mechamaro's emotions. <laughs> Didn't know he could do this. Mechamaro's gone berserk. That is definitely a title. <laughs> That's a long one. Oh, he's still alert, okay. He hasn't gone full Shinji yet. Gee, I wonder if this will attract any attention. I think even him saying this, even him knowing this, he's still underestimating exactly what he's facing. Or maybe I'm underestimating him and the extent of his pain. And there goes the dam. Yikes, he just ate that. Well, he got 16 more years of pain. Episode 31, Evening Festival. Oh man, how my emotions flip-flopped watching la the last episode in these scenes. I went from, like, disbelief that it could be him, to disgust at what he did, to <laughs> sympathy for him, to just plain worry. Poor kid. Totally unrelated, but watching the intro and seeing Gojo. So many people that I didn't know or didn't expect to be into the show or watch anime at all, especially girls I know, are suddenly posting tons of pictures and stories of Gojo. <laughs> Gojo mania has just gripped the world, and I'm not complaining. Like, to be perfectly honest, sometimes when I see, like, a, a celebrity infatuation capturing people's hearts, a common reaction is jealousy. But with Gojo, I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. It also probably helps that he's fictional, but, you know. But can we normal humans ever live up to, <laughs> to Gojo? Speaking of Gojo, where are you? Where is he? Oh, he's doing, like, the, the losing gambling strategy, just doubling... Your bet every time. Next will be four. Can't lose that way. Uh, yeah, my biggest fear for him continues to be like just overlooking the risk and danger. That's not what I was expecting at all. Oh, right? Just straight up kick, just boot to the face. For real? If the cable snaps, does he have four minutes remaining? Okay, what? What is he looking for? The system of the show is just so endlessly complex, so it's, it's a little bit confusing, but if I recall correctly, it was a big deal when Yuji was able to damage Mojito's soul separately. I'm really curious what Ghetto would have finished that sentence with. Uh, more than doubling this time. Better make it count. Better land it. Pigeon Viola, the power of birds. Why does this remind me of Mob Psycho? Damn, a transformation though. Uh, at this rate you got what, one more attack? What does that do? What does that do? Whoever made this just loves Evangelion. I'm not convinced. You can catch these hands. It's so cool, but I hate it. Yeah. Could have been worse, could have had his eyes pecked out by bird-like mechs. That sounds like a huge game changer. But like dipping into the dark side? Right? Oh, I thought Mew was there for a second. What was that shot of Miwa? Is she like his Patronus? <laughs> Wait, 
内側から領域を発生させられたら麻痺とでも術式関係なくダメージを Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's just so much, so much technicality. And as we all know, this is my strongest skill. <laughs> Did Miwa make a Sybil domain? Is that why we saw her? Is he taking inspiration from her? It would be fitting considering she seems to be the person he cares about the most. And I guess it's the last friend he spoke to. How much does he have left? I feel like it was way ahead. Every time he says this, I feel like he's doing, he's thinking of Miwa. It's everyone, but it means me, and then she just shatters. He's super exposed right now. This is also beautiful, but I can't enjoy it because I just feel, feel such an impending sense of dread. Waiting for him to wake up from his nap. Yeah, or we have to kill each other on orders from our superiors. I would have loved to have heard this. I would have loved to I wonder if you would have that conversation a little bit sooner. Would that not have changed things? Not only was Mekumaru suffering physically, he was totally isolated. Just missed it. The timing of that is tragic. Poor Miwa too, like, can't hold on to things. Can't hold on to swords or friends. Their plan is obviously concerning because they know what they're up against. And they seem awfully confident. Yeah! I like jumping way ahead here. <laughs> Halloween already. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Couldn't Mekamaro have, like, I don't know. Left some warning, sent out some message, something. It's almost like he wants them in there. Closet badass. <laughs> Gee, you think? <laughs> It's a trap, but an obvious trap. It's like a double trap. The amount of unknowns is, is what makes it terrifying. I feel better with her here. And I feel better with him here. It's tough because it's the right call, but it's also what the villains want. In Gojo, we trust, I guess. I think that ship has sailed. Yeah, very manly, just scrambling for their own survival. And then Gojo will show up to make matters that much worse. Finally on the coffin with these chumps. <laughs> <laughs> and Gojo literally knocks one of them over too, it's so great. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, come on! This moves so fast! Like, I thought there would be a couple episodes before the Halloween incident they kept talking about. I guess they really had no idea. So the second half of this episode was set up for this plot that is really alarming for, like I said, the fact that they know what they're getting into. The villains know what they're up against and are way ahead. There are just too many unknowns here for comfort. It's no mystery to them that Gojo's coming. They want Gojo to come. What is the ace up their sleeve? More significant to me is the first half of the episode. This, I believe, is the first time we've lost a student. Mikamaro is just such a tragic character, right? Like, 
He just lives his whole life in pain. You would almost forgive him for a total betrayal. Like, you would forgive him for just wanting anything to end the suffering and making a deal that gets gets his body back. But it wasn't that. It was partly that. But critically, he also thought that he would win and win, right? Like, he would get his body back and be able to not help the enemies and get critical information to people and reading into it a lot, perhaps. It might not just be that he wanted a body to end pain, but just to have anything resembling a normal life, because he clearly has a deep crush on Miwa, who, while it might not be in crush level, was starting to reciprocate feelings of affection just way, way too late. He basically throws his life away and also maybe gives them something? It's unclear what Ghetto got out of that. It's a total loss. I already felt sad for Mekamaru's character. I feel even worse for him now, because even despite his pain, while he was alive, there's a chance, you know, there's, there's a hope for him to figure something out or just to contribute in a way that's meaningful. And now it's all just wiped away. Dead like Jujutsu-san apparently. Where did that go?